Aloha friends, I wanted to share with you guys a recipe that I made a couple times for the family using my Kasori uh, pressure cooker and it is called the um, Kalua pork. So I just made this about two weeks ago but even the kids are requesting for it again so I decided to go ahead and make this video for you guys. So this is a tried and true recipe. It is one amazing Kalua pork recipe and the nice thing about it is that when you cook it onto the pressure cooker, it takes so much less time. So it took me about, I think, three hours total uh, when I made it last time, two weeks ago. And let me show you guys the, um, the items that you will need. And if you don't have a pressure cooker, it's okay. You can still do this recipe over a stove or use your um, slow cooker. It's just going to um, take a little bit longer time than how I'm going to do it with this one with the pressure cooker. So, Kasori pressure cooker, I love it. It's, it's amazing. Um, I have a recipe in here, I think, with the, the chili. It takes so, um, it's so easy to do and then takes so much less time to do it than if you were doing it um, over the stove kind of thing. So, pressure cook it for me. So, this is what my pressure cooker looks like. Um, other products are out there, a pressure cooker, like the Instapot. This is the Kasori brand, works exactly the same thing. I love mine, um, to tell you the truth, but it has all these um, buttons as well um, of all the different things that you could do with this. And the nice thing about this one is that because it's not part of the pre-program, you can do a manual mode and then you can set the timer to however much you need to cook it for. So, um, to get started, we're going to need to use the insert um, for the pressure cooker and then all I'm going to do is put my bacon in there and then I'm going to tell you guys all the other ingredients but lay out your bacon onto the bottom and then just brown that um, use the saute button and I'm just using my leftover I'm just going to use all the bacon so this was my leftover bacon from the, the family during the weekend. So I'm going to do that first. It's going to go in here. What I'm going to do is uh, move it onto my countertop. This is where I have good lighting. And so I'm going to just seal it like that. I'm going to turn on the pressure cooker and then I'm going to put it onto saute and brown let that um, saute up and let that cook and then I'm going to show you guys the other ingredients. Alright friends, so this is the rest of the ingredients. We got our bacon sauteing. I've got a um, butt roast pork that I've left out into the refrigerator overnight and then I went ahead and got a knife and just basically slit through the, um, the meat part of the pork and then what I'm going to do is get some of these little pieces of garlic basically put it into those um, marks and this will add a lot of flavor to the pork because Kahlua pork doesn't require a lot of ingredients it's a very simple um, dish so this will put a lot of flavor into it okay and then I got like maybe two or three cloves of garlic in here and it's nice to re, um, already pre pre cut it. Okay, so I got that really deep in there. The only ingredients you will need is your salt base. And for the salt, you can use your pure sea salt. That is perfectly fine. But there are special salts um, around just specifically for Kahlua. Like this one, this is Hawaiian Kahlua seasoning salt. Um, and this adds a lot of flavor compared to just a regular um, salt but also I bought this one during a Hawaiian fe uh, festival over here in Seattle and then this is the Kona sea salt it's Hawaiian mesquite um, smoke flavor so I have been using this one and all you need to do is just get a couple of them so make sure that you don't because you are touching the meat that you don't uh, cross contaminate and you got um, what you're going to do is just sprinkle it around and make sure that you do both ends and you're going to rub it rub it in to the meat to really flavor it and yeah kind of crush it a little bit turn it around and get all that salt in there okay 
Now you also need like a liquid smoke. I did not use this last time. So it was really hard for me to find liquid smoke um, in my area. So I'm just going to put a little bit. Just, just a little bit on both sides. <laughs> Sorry. That's about like one teaspoon of liquid smoke. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the black pepper, but my hands are dirty, so I'm going to do that towards the end. Just basically once the bacon is done nicely brown, you're going to take the bacon out. You're going to put this into the bottom of um, your pressure cooker um, insert. And then you're going to chop up your bacon once it's nice and um, golden brown. And then you're going to um, put it on top. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of black and uh, black pepper. Grind some black pepper in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cook it for about 60 to 90 minutes. Depending on how comfortable you are of just leaving it in there for 90 minutes. But I like to do it in a one hour increment. So I'll just put it for 60 minutes. And then I'll check on it to make sure that there's um, it's not burning or too brown and then I'll flip it around and then you're going to add oh let's just say maybe a quarter cup of water and this is why I like to do a little um, hour increment so if I need to take out water then I can last time I add I added one I think half a cup of water and it was just too much water because see that's my bacon it's already cooked uh, because once you start cooking this for about a couple of hours it starts getting smaller and liquid will come out of the pork so let me check on my bacon all right, as you guys can see, there's my bacon. I actually put too much bacon, um, but I wanted to use up all my bacon. I, didn't, I don't like to store bacon into the refrigerator for too long once it's open. And like I said, they use this um, during the weekend. So all I'm gonna do is just go ahead and um, brown this just for a little bit more, take it out, and then leave the oil in there. You can choose to take out the oil. Uh, this time around, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the oil in there and not put um, any other oils like vegetable oil or anything like that. I'm just going to use the um, the fat of the bacon that will add a lot of flavor onto your um, Kahlua pork and then take out the bacon put the meat in there and then the the fat of the bacon is actually going to create a nice uh, flavored base for the Kahlua pork. I went ahead and turned my um, my pork um, around and also added the the black pepper went ahead and seasoned both sides and then I cut up my bacon and now I'm gonna put this uh, part first into the pressure cooker and then put the bacon on top all right so got my items in there now I'm changing into manual mode as well as um, changing the cook time so I'm just gonna go cook and then I'm just gonna change that to 60 minutes Okay, and then I'm going to press the start. It's gonna cook that. I'm gonna put on my lid because as you guys can see, that's what it looks like. And just to let you guys know, if you are using a crock pot, a slow cooker, you could even wrap this and with the bacon in there because I just think that the bacon just adds so much flavor into your Kahlua pork. But if you don't like the bacon, you um, absolutely do not have to add it in there. What I do is I'm actually gonna add some water. And be careful, it's going to splatter. That's just like a, about maybe a quarter of a cup. I locked my lid and I went ahead and put it onto the lock valve right here. And be careful because this, is, um, because this is a pressure cooker. It doesn't matter what brand you're using. Um, before you open the lid, because now it's up, that means that it's creating um, pressure on inside. So you gotta make sure to release it first and then make sure that the valve is down before you um, open it. And the nice feature about my Kosori is that, I don't know other brands, but I can't open it until the valve um, decompresses. So we'll wait for an hour and see how, what it looks like. All right, friends, this is how my um, Kahlua pork looks like right now. I have been cooking it for about two and a half hours. And I think it was like during the first hour is when I cut it into three separate pieces. Just because the bigger it is, then um, it'll take longer to, to cook. And now I can actually shred it. See how it's um, very tender. All right, I have been cooking this for a total of three and a half hours. It's very tender. I'm gonna remove the meat 
<laughs> even my camera lens is fogging up I'm gonna go ahead and remove the meat put it into a separate bowl shred it and then I'm going to cook the um, the cabbage into the same uh, broth all right that's what it looks like on the um, pot and then also just to let you guys know I did take away um, some of the liquid during like the first two hours of it cooking. I reserved it into a bowl because now what I'm going to do is put the cabbage in here and then I'm going to pour some of the liquid in here but I'm going to take out the, the fatty part on the top and um, use the, the uh, liquid at the bottom. All right, there's my cabbage that's um, clean and quartered. Now I have my reserve liquid pour that over and that's gonna add a lot of flavor onto the cabbage and then I'm just gonna cook this for about maybe between five minutes to ten minutes and then it's all done all right while my cabbage is cooking I'm gonna go ahead and just get a fork you can even use two forks but my Kahlua pork is so tender that I don't need to use two forks because look how easily um, it comes apart and then look at those uh, bacon bits so that's gonna be really good now I don't like my Kahlua pork with a lot of liquid that's why I take out um, a lot of the liquid during the time that it was cooking so that when I take it out then it's kinda dry but then I like to reserve it reserve the liquid so that I can cook the cabbage into it and then whatever liquid is in there with the cabbage I will reserve that and then I will pour it over here onto the um, onto the Kahlua pork as it gets dry if there was some uh, leftovers to be heated up okay see how tender the meat is I'm gonna take a bite just so I can see how the flavoring is if you guys notice I did not add any uh, salt or pepper onto the cabbage because all the flavoring in here is on the liquid oh my gosh so amazing so good so good mm, family's gonna love that all right, I went ahead and took out the cabbage <laughs> and see how flavored it looks. And then I added a little bit of that smoked um, Kona salt onto the, just the top. I had a little bit left onto the container when I showed you guys. And, but no salt and pepper onto that, just the flavoring of the liquid here. I, I'm just sauteing it a little bit because there was that excess um, liquid that was in there. And then it's just going to cook up the meat a little bit and this is only here for like maybe two or three minutes and then that's it so let me go ahead and put in a separate bowl show you guys the finished product right, friends so this is what it looks like soft and tender and flavorful this is what this looks like and then this is how I serve it over rice that jasmine rice is the best for us so I just put that a little bit Okay. and then I get my cabbage put that on the side because I'm the kind of person that I even though the Kahlua pork and the rice is just good by itself I like to have a little veggie along with my meals so that's my Kahlua pork recipe and honestly it's so so good it's one of the best the family has ever had even from a restaurant so hopefully you guys give it a try mahalo